Hello, I'm Cindy from Streamscape. I'd like to welcome you to our Getting Started video series on Streamscape TV. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to install the TrueView application workbench. I've downloaded the software and I'm at the executable. The first thing I want to do is check the properties of the executable. This may not be necessary for you, but I'm running on Windows 10 with a high resolution screen. So, in compatibility, I want to make sure I check off Run This Program in Compatibility Mode for Windows 7, and because of my high resolution screen, I want to override high DPI scaling behavior and have that performed by the system. So let's run the install. Okay, so in the installer, I'm going to choose Next. I need to accept the license agreement, which says that this is a developer copy. Our fully functional version is available for development purposes at no cost. Licensed production versions come with support and maintenance. If you are using this for educational purposes, there is no fee involved. When selecting a Java version, we have no dependency on J2EE and we can use Standard Edition or JRE Edition. I'm going to choose the default directory and I'm going to choose a typical installation. And if all of my settings are correct, I choose Install. All this install is doing is unpacking the archives and putting them where they need to be. In many cases, thanks to new technologies that scan files as they're being unzipped, the install can be delayed due to these background processes. Okay, the installation is finished. I'll choose Done. I'm going to look at the properties of my icon just to make sure that in compatibility I have overridden the DPI scaling behavior yet again because of my high resolution screen and set that to System. And now I'll open the TrueView application workbench. To recap, we have run the installation and started the workbench. This is Cindy with Streamscape, and thank you for watching Streamscape TV.